ladies and gentlemen. At the very outset, I must thank uh, Dr. Rashid Alim and the team for having given me this opportunity to talk about a subject which is very, very close to my heart ever since the days I was called a management trainee. Ladies and gentlemen, we are actually in every single moment trying to do a branding. I have learned in the last 28 years of my life that branding is not a company name. Branding is not a logo. Branding is not a punchline. But branding is what perception you create out of all of this. I'll take you back to a little story before I talk about my business of logistics. And the story goes that on my very second day at work as a management trainee, the group training manager mentioned to me that I should actually create a presentation on a book called The Moment of Truth. I'm sure some of you have read that book by Jan Carlson. And in that book, what they said was that the first few seconds, first few seconds is what really matters. You create the perception about yourself. And once you create the perception about yourself, it translates to the perception of the whole organization. In the last two and a half decades or more, I've concluded that a company is only as good as its people. And the people are only as good as the perception and the brand they create around themselves in front of the world. This is very, very important. I was very fortunate those days being part of a very, very aggressive global marketing campaign to create a punchline which read like this. It said, we are not the greatest and hence we try harder. I repeat, we are not the greatest and hence we try harder. Now ladies and gentlemen, just think about this sentence. What perception it beautifully created that we are not trying to be a competitor to most of our fraternity. We are not trying to be egoistic. We are trying to be realistic. We are trying to tell the world that we have arrived, but do give us a shot, give us a try, because we do try harder. I was extremely happy to be part of that campaign, which turned out to be a major success, even from a translation of marketing to its revenue. A few years later, me and my wife, we went out shopping, and while she was taking more time, which she normally does, in the shop, I was fiddling around with some of the marketing stuff going around, and I found there was a lovely newspaper called Economic Times alongside General Motors. They had come up with a marketing campaign, and I had to fill up a slogan. This is a real story. For those of you who are not listening to me, looking at your mobiles, this was the brand, 20 minutes. The caption was to be filled up. I like economic times because. Those days I still had some hair left on my head, so I kept scratching, thinking, what should I write? And I wrote finally, because it covers before the world discovers. It went on to win the first prize after a few days, and I was given a little lovely gift, not so little actually, it was a Opel car which I got out of the slogan. A little story which tells you that when you think a little differently from, from what most people do, chances are that you would be looked at. If after what I speak to you in the next, let's say another 15 minutes left, 
if you still go out for coffee and remember some of the words that I said, maybe I'm successful in creating a brand around what I did. And if I did, this logo, which I carry very, very carefully and very, very meticulously every time I go out to work, would gain an advantage out of it. Ladies and gentlemen, we often as human beings make life too complicated. It is actually not so complicated. Every time you create a perception, that perception is what sells. After this presentation, I'm going to be driving out for a kickoff meeting, as we call it in our business of logistics, for a power project with a global company. And believe me, what is going to happen in that large room is that every single person would try to create a brand around themselves. They would try to explain to you that they know it all. And I'm supposed to be the one who should be doing the job. This is something I go through every day. So when you create a brand, be conscious that whether it be logistics, whether it be a product marketing or any other thing, you have to be conscious of what you say, how much you say, how you say, where you say, and when you speak. Because some of this is what is the root of a proper, sec, you know, proper philosophy of branding.